Is it early or is late night? We at the after party, so don't act brand new You could call me in the morning You might catch me rolling with my West End crew And you gon' wanna match my high You be catching feelings, I can see it in your eyes Got three bad bitches right by my side You can tell me shit, I'm gonna enjoy this ride Handy in my cup, I don't give a fuck, I'm tryna feel right It's Lana Moore here. I'm back with another video. I am on a roll like cotton now. Insert Drake song. Oh my gosh. So I'm back with another video, y'all. I was hesitant to talk about this topic, but in the past, like I have had people ask me to film about this, and then my mom recently was like, you should do your perspective on it. So as you see by my shirt, I'm gonna be talking about the company I work for. I work at Amazon. Yes, I've been, in the past, I've been very like private about where I work, but I thought, why not share my perspective? Because I've been watching uh, my friend here in my head, SB, and then I came across some other Amazonians who create content about like what it's like to be at Amazon. And I'm like, yo, most of the people that I've been talking, they're not doing what I actually do there. Um, but I am going to do baby steps. This is just going to be a tester video. So what's up, Sunshine Squad? I am going to be talking to you about the pros versus the cons of working at Amazon as a tier one. So let's say you've been thinking about working at Amazon. You're like, yo, I want to work there. But I'm like, yo, I've been hearing the horror stories. So I'm going to tell you my perspective, my experience of like what it's like to work there as a tier one. I'm currently a tier three or level three. I think they call us level three now, but I'm currently that. Um, so I'm not no longer tier one, but from experience, I can tell you the pros and the cons. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So pros, we're going to start off with pros. Because the pros honestly outweigh the cons. Um, and that should encourage you to apply. Okay, and I'm not just going to hype up my job or like, you know, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be transparent. I don't got time to be sure go. <laughs> but first off, let's start off with the pros. As a tier one, depending on where you're at in life, you're making a nice amount of money. However, I started with the company back in 2018. Um, so back then my pay was not what it is now. It was, they literally increased the pay in 2018, like months later after I had applied. So like I applied in August, 2018, my pay was 1175 and then they increased the pay to 15 in that month of November of 2018. So I had the minimum, minimum wage and mind you, I was working in, in California when I first started with the company. When I first started working for Amazon, I was still in Cali. So, but I would say the pay is a pro though. Like people may be like, some people debate about it, but honestly, I find the pay a pro because um, knowing what I know, like if I were to like work like entry level, that's about what I would make anyway. And I would always tell people that like when they would complain about it, I'm like, well, I've been making this anyway. If I was working entry level at like a company like full time, like this is what entry level pays. Sometimes a lot of the jobs I was looking at, um, the 15 an hour for 40 hours a week, that was like the entry level position. So I was already kind of like happy, honestly. And plus when you work a $9 an hour job before and make like $80 checks every two weeks, honestly, you appreciate any money that comes your way. <laughs> All right, so let's not get carried away. Another pro is the schedule flexibility. I love how like when I was a tier one, my schedule was flexible. I was able to literally pick my own schedule that was tailored to me. And I liked that my schedule was permanent. Like I didn't have to, um, literally, I didn't have to worry about not working one week or only working one day. And that's the things you have to go through during working retail. Cause I worked retail like at Kohl's before, White House Black Market. And that was the only thing I didn't like about those jobs. Like I felt like one week I would work like five days a week and then another week I worked two. 
So it's like my checks aren't like balancing out. Opposed to like Amazon, you literally pick a schedule. That's your schedule. You're in, it doesn't change. Unless you choose to change it, then that's when it changes. But for the most part, that's your schedule. That's what you're going to work. You're guaranteed about the same amount of pay each week. And that's what I love. Um, another thing is, um, this is another pro is the overtime that you get. I tell every person that literally applies, take advantage of overtime. I'm like, yo, just from my experience being here, like I'm like a veteran. See, I'm in the right position for a reason. Um, cause I be telling them, I'm like all these new people that come in, I'm like, yo, take advantage of the overtime because when it's not available, you're gonna want it. Okay. Um, take advantage of the overtime. When you're a tier one, you get offered a lot of opportunity VTO, which is voluntary time off and VET, which is voluntary extra time. You get a lot of those opportunities, depending on the season or the business at the time of the business need, you get a lot of opportunities to come in and make extra money. Um, you get a lot of opportunities to take off when you want to like literally take advantage of that overtime. Cause trust me, Nobody gives good overtime like Amazon. Mm, just saying. Um, also, you get another pro for me is the opportunity to cross train. I love that Amazon gives you the opportunity to cross train like kind of quickly. I think some buildings allow you to start cross training within 30 days or within two weeks. It just depends on the business need. Um, but yeah, you get to cross train, meaning cross training is like, you don't have to stay in the one, like let's say you start off um, sorting, um, scanning packages. Like when I was at the sort site, sort center, um, I started off like scanning and then all of a sudden they trained me how to do small sorts. And then all of a sudden I got cross trained how to work inside of the trucks. I learned Eagle Eye, like it was just a lot. I was like able to know everything in the building. Um, so that's what I love is like you get opportunities like pretty much like learn new things. And if you're a person that loves learning new things, you're going to love that like as a tier one. Trust me. Um, honestly, this one's funny. I heard this. <laughs> it's a free workout. Yes, I definitely when I first started working at Amazon lost a bunch of weight. Um, my only thing is like depending on like the building, sometimes it will get stagnant, but I did feel like I got a good workout every day. I felt like I didn't have to go to gym. So it was nice, you know, to get slimmed down, get into shape. And looking back at what I looked like when I first started, I was like, girl, yes. <laughs> um, then another thing as a tier one, you get the opportunity to travel. There's something called an away team. I had got the opportunity um, to be a part of it. They asked me to do it, but um, I was just like, I wasn't really wanting to go at that time. I'm kind of regretting it. I'm like, yo, I should have went. <laughs> like, I should have did it. But I'm pretty sure, like, there'll be more opportunities. Like, there's always buildings launching. Like, there's always buildings opening. But I was, um, yeah, I did. that. I, I like that they, you get the opportunity to travel as a tier one. Literally, you get to go help open up a building. So definitely, if you get the opportunity to be a part of the way team, please do it. Um, I had, like I said, I didn't get to do it, but I've heard great things about it. And I've worked with an away team, um, like when I recently launched this new building I'm at. So yeah, definitely, definitely do it. Um, and then the last pro that I have is you get to meet new people. An example, away team, cross training in other departments. You get to kind of know other people, you know, and get to know and getting, and people may be like, yeah, you should have friends at work, but sometimes those people that you meet at work can be ways you can network and like get to where you want to get, right? So it's good to meet new people because you never know who you can connect with that can get you to that next level. All right, cons. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to talk about the cons of working at Amazon as a tier one. Okay, I'll be honest with you. Sometimes it can feel like there's favoritism there a little favoritism and I would say I feel like you would feel favoritism at buildings that are kind of already established I feel like you feel like there's favoritism when you first get to the building like I've been at a building that's brand new and I've been at a building that's been established like that's been up for years and like I've been at two buildings that have been brand new fairly new um, I've launched a building and I've been at a building that was like maybe like 
four months old. Like it ain't been open that long and I I started there and I've been at buildings that have been open for years. <laughs> so it's like it, you can experience the favoritism and you'll be like, you, it's like you feel like you have to kind of sh make yourself known, like make a name for yourself so people can like know what you could do so you can get those opportunities, right? Because like if you're coming into a new job, no one's going to really know what you can do, right? You're going to have to work your butt off. So you may feel that way, like especially if they have their reliable people already and they know the, these people know what they're doing, they may kind of like underestimate you. So that could be a downfall. And that's how I felt a little bit when I first started because I felt like they didn't know who I was. They didn't know what Alana could bring to the table. But once they figured it out, <laughs> you best believe your girl exactly made her way through. <laughs> um, another con is sometimes Amazon can feel like high school. Keep in mind, like half the people that work there are young, um, depending on the building. Most of the people are young. I mean, you do have older people too. So that does help kind of balance it out. Um, but for the most part, some of these people are fresh out of school. I've met people that were still in high school <laughs> working there. So, mm -mm. <laughs> so it can feel like high school. It could be drama. Just as long as you stay away from it, that won't be a con. Okay, as long as you just mind your business, connect with people who are not drama dramatic. Make sure you're connecting with like PAs or managers or like you're just connecting with the right people you should be good and then the last con I would have is honestly just being on your feet for hours and like standing like if you're not used to that type of work like you're definitely gonna be tired it's gonna be different you're gonna be like what did I get myself into <laughs> so that's the only other con I could really think of like literally those three cons that I would say other than that, like I said, I'm not going to like hype up the company like they're not paying me to talk about it or anything. It's just my personal experience. And honestly, like that's literally my genuine experience. So I hope you all enjoyed um, the pros and cons of working at Amazon as a tier one. Um, if you like this type of video, let me know and I will come up with some more things about Amazon related content. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe, and toodles to my sunshine, Scott. Yeah. When I'm going through phases, I wish I could stay.